Hello everybody and welcome to my Minecraft tutorial and today we're going to be going over to the NPC village and doing some trading with those guys hopefully to bring back some pretty cool stuff so what I've done is I've since the last episode have spent a lot of time collecting harvesting and slaughtering animals to get the relevant things we need and there's a great image on the wiki which I'll link you to which tells you all the possible trades with all the villages that you might have so I will put that in the description so that you can see exactly what we've got but as you can see I brought a ton of paper with me a ton of wheat I've got quite a lot of raw meat I've got some wool which I'm gonna re shear all these sheep in here again before we go among many many other things that we can trade now I don't can't remember off the top of my head what villages are over there I have been over there before um, thank you um, but there is one type uh, well one thing I am looking for specifically and that is melon seeds if you can find some of those that's going to be great because that means then that we will be able to do our melon farm which we can use to do many more things with so as we make our way over there what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna shear any sheep that I see I'm not gonna kill any more animals because I want to keep a natural population of animals around so as we steadily head over there then if I see anything that we should really be killing then I will <laughs> um, nobody down there I know there's some pigs around but I'm not gonna kill these pigs their, their lives are spared um, and we will look at pumpkins in the next episode as well um, what I'm going to quickly do actually is I'm going to stop off at the cottage over here and I'm going to see if there's anything I'll have a rummage through this chest as well see if there's anything I can bring with me um, at my last count there was a lot of villages over there so that means a large potential amount of different things that we can get um, so why don't we just uh, head down here uh, what have we got over here? Not a whole lot. Um, in fact, there's pretty much nothing. They will not want any of that stuff. So, I thought I might have had more than that, but obviously not. So, let's continue making our way over there. Um, ooh, be careful of that cave. So, yeah. Um... I can't remember if I said what episode this is, but I think this is episode 17. I can't remember off the top of my head. But, uh, yeah, uh, NPC villagers are a bit weird in the way they want to trade items. They generally have a lot of unfair deals. Um, but sometimes they do have very, very good deals, but sometimes it takes an unfair deal to get a fair deal. So you might have to trade something which really on the whole is not worth it but then you might get something that is worth it if that makes sense uh, the best example I can think of is the the flint and gravel situation where you might have to trade them three emeralds for like and ten gravel to get four flint but if you do that then you will be able to unlock better trades and a lot of the time um, you need to unlock those better trades um, so we might have to do some trading that we might not necessarily want to do but is what we have to do uh, to get some better trades so the village is just over here I've been just harvesting any sheep as I see them um, so that we are in good stead for trading so one thing we are going to do is we're going to clear out all of their um, crop fields that are wheat um, because some of them will want wheat and we don't have lots of it so if we clear all of these wheat fields out and then replant them this is a great way of sort of I wouldn't say cheating but making things better for your advantage in terms of these guys um, and a lot of them want wheat trades uh, they have wheat readily available so it makes sense to take it and then trade them their own things essentially they, they don't know the difference they probably will in a future update I would imagine that they will know the difference between their own wheat and they may take a dislike into you um, and that is something else we need to talk about uh, villagers do have feelings um, I see a few over there I was just worried because I didn't see any over this part of town but uh, villagers do have feelings if you hit them they will take a dislike to you yes I know chicken I know you want the seeds but you're not getting them I'm sorry um, they will take a dislike to you from time to time if you hit them or attempt to hurt them 
as anybody would, right? You know, it doesn't make any sense to just go and randomly hurt someone. But if you trade with them, all right, you get lucky. Um, then they will begin to like you more. Some interesting fact for you there. Now, not all of these have grown by the looks of things, and I'm going to go to sleep before any monsters have a chance to spawn, because these guys get killed by zombies. Um, well, as of 1.4, they don't get killed, they get turned into what's called a zombie villager. And we will look at those in a later tutorial, when um, we actually look at converting a zombie villager back to a villager form. Um, and we'll have somebody to talk to back at the cottage. But that's a long tutorial away now, so I wouldn't worry about that just yet. Um, there's not a whole lot more you can do with villagers other than actually trade with them. Um, they don't have a whole useful purpose. The long-term reasoning behind adding them, though, is what I think anyway, is so that we can do things for them and they will do things for us. Um, and we can have quests with these guys. I think that's the long-term objective with them anyway. I'm not sure 100% on that. But uh, I think that was the reason why uh, they added them. And chicken, if you get in the way, that's what you get. <laughs> um, man, they have a lot of wheat. We must have a, a lot of wheat now. <laughs> um, but yeah, they are a good source of food. Obviously, if you spawn near one, you're going to have an instant source of food. You've got carrots, you've got potatoes, and you've got wheat. So we have all of that. Um, have we harvested all of their crop fields? I think we have. Not unless there's some over this part of town that we have missed. But I think we've pretty much got them all. Yeah, we've got them all. Um, so, let's go and do some trading. Uh, there are, I think, five different types of villagers, uh, from what I recall. Uh, there's a farmer. This guy is a farmer. Um, most people in this village are farmers. Here is a uh, butcher. The one with the white apron is a butcher. In fact, I think that's the only people in this town. I don't think there is a... There's not a church, so we don't have any priests. Um, and there's not a blacksmith, so we don't have a blacksmith villager. So, it's quite a limited village in what it has to offer. But when we convert them, we might get lucky with some different trades. So, alright. This guy seems to be looking extremely happy. Um, so why don't we just right-click on him. And, oh, one emerald for five apples. We don't have an emerald yet. We might be back. Certainly not. One emerald for five apples. Not worth it. Um, 16 raw chicken for an emerald. I only have one uh, 10 raw chicken, so I can't trade with him. One emerald for seven cooked chicken is a pretty good deal, but again, I have not traded with a villager yet who is willing to be nice to us and give us a trade that we can actually make. So, one emerald for seven melon pieces. We definitely want to trade with this guy, because this guy is the key for us. Um, excuse me, sir. Sir. Um, oh, he's gone again. He was obviously out in the backyard. Hello, yes. One emerald for three bread. Jeez, you're terrible. Um, that's the apple guy again. Three emeralds for flint and steel. Is anybody going to offer anything? Uh, nine cooked fish. No. Two emeralds for a leather cap. No. Seriously, are all the villagers here? Ah, here we are. There's this wheat guy. He wants 20 wheat for an emerald. So if we put a stack of wheat in there and take an emerald off him, then he will take 20 of our wheat. And in a minute, he will have some nice little fart bubbles and these little green stars and we can now make another trade with him which is three emeralds for a flint and steel which is pretty rubbish we can continue to trade with stuff off him for a, a certain number of times I forget how many but eventually there will be an X appear here and we will not be able to trade that specific trade anymore like here is the limit now we can't trade anymore we've got seven emeralds off him and now if we right click he's not interested he does not want to do that trade anymore um, oh, so you're the melon guy, so let's trade one emerald for seven melons with you, um, and let's see what you have to offer. Um, oh, you're another bread one. Nine cooked fish, 15, ah, we can trade with this butcher. Um, we can trade with him because we have some raw beef. Now, what are you going to be offering us next? Excuse me, sir. Let's be in line now. Coal for an emerald. Uh, we don't have any coal on us. Um, I didn't have enough to bring with us. Um, you're the apple guy again. Um, I suppose, how many emeralds have I got? Seven. Let's just trade with you and see what you have to offer. If you're another wheat guy, then that might be useful. Um, everybody wants a piece now. Oh, oh you're a raw chicken guy again. Um, what's this butcher got to offer? Two emeralds for a leather cap. I 
don't really want to waste two emeralds on that. Um, what's this guy I got to offer? You're a raw chicken guy again. Um, is there anybody home in this one? No. Uh, so we have a limited number of trades uh, available in this village, at least right now. Um, but you get the idea behind trading with these guys. Um, I think that's about all the trades I can actually make. Um, unfortunately, I was hoping to make some more. Ah, this guy's got a very good deal. One emerald for 12 arrows. I will take some arrows off you, sir, for our bow. And I want to see what you have to offer next, because you're another farmer. Oh, you're a cooked fish guy. Well, I could always do with some arrows, but I have chickens and I have flint. So I won't waste any more on you. Um, you know that guy that we sort of overworked. You know, another apple guy. Um, an emerald for three bread. Let's just do a trade with him and see what he has to offer us. You never know, he might give us something decent in return. Definitely not. <laughs> <laughs> um, alright, let's do a trade with you. Uh, I'm going to have plenty of bread after this, that's for sure. Right, what have you got to offer? Oh, terrible. Um, alright, let's do another trade with you. I don't want to waste all my emeralds. This will be the last trade we do, for an emerald at least. Uh, they have so many trades. <sighs> rubbish. Uh, rubbish. Never mind. Um, that is the most trades we're going to do. You can get the idea behind them, but they are not very good deals by any stretch of the imagination. Um, never mind. Um, but we have got the melon pieces we wanted. We've got plenty of wheat left over. Um, and we've got lots of other stuff. And that is just about it, I think, for today's um, tutorial. There's not a whole lot more to do, so I'm going to round off here with our lovely new friends at the village. And in the next episode, we will go and collect those pumpkins, and probably on the way back from here, actually, and then we will make a melon and pumpkin farm using our newly game melon pieces. I was hoping that we'd get a librarian for all this paper, but obviously not. Never know, we might be able to spawn one using a zombie villager. Um, but until then, um, we're going to have a large supply of paper. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Thanks for watching guys, I hope you found something useful out of this, and I hope that your villages are a bit nicer than what mine are in terms of trading. But if you do want to download this world and go out hunting for stuff and trade with these guys, you can. All the stuff's going to be in the description, as always, and I hope to see you next time. So, thanks for watching, and I hope you found it useful once again. So, until next time guys, see you later, and have a good day.